In this video, we will set up custom file properties for a part file template. File properties contain additional information beyond part geometry. This information can be used or displayed in another environment, such as drawing files, where title blocks and bills of material are often used. I'll start our new part file using one of my custom templates that I've made. Um, you can learn more about this in my SolidWorks templates video here on YouTube. And so I'm going to start with this template, part file template. When I come up to my um, top bar, I've got an icon called File Properties. And when I open that, I see that I've got two or three different tabs. Um, and in this custom tab, it is blank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to populate the fields here with the first one I'm going to use is description. Actually this is a drop down. I can use a description. Um, and then it automatically includes that as a text. I'm also going to do part number. The next one I'm going to choose is material. And the fourth one I'll choose is weight. Now I'm going to leave these first two blank description and part number. And for material, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to the drop down. There's material right here. And I'm going to change the weight to mass, or in this field to mass. I'm going to click OK. I'm now going to overwrite my template file. So I'm going to come to Save As. I've got to change this to a part template. Now I've got to look for my custom templates, and this may be different for you, so I'll have to find my custom templates. So again, your location may be different. And here's the part inch template that I actually started with. I'm going to overwrite it. I'm going to save. It's going to warn me, and yes, I do want to replace it. And now I'm going to close my file. So now I'm going to open a new file using my part template that I just modified. I'll open that up. And now when I come into File Properties, I have all these properties shown. Well, at least they're blank. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a material. And I can do that here on the left. I'm going to, um, I can either edit the material or I can use one of these pre selected materials here and I'll choose plain carbon steel and then I will just make a very simple part I'll start off with a sketch on the top plane and I will just again make this very simple it won't be even defined and there is my object now when I come into my file properties, I can see my material is here. And notice how uh, plain carbon steel came in. And it also gave me a weight, and this is going to be pounds because i have in the inch-pound system. And now what I can do is I can go into another description, and let's call this a uh, simple block. And we're going to call this part number 73. We'll hit OK. And I'm just going to do a quick save here. I'll just do a save as. I'm just going to leave it right here in this location. And I'll call this uh, simple. Now one thing I want to say about the um, about these file properties, notice how it evaluated my weight or my mass at 1.29. If I were to modify the um, my block. Let's just put a fillet. Let's make it large enough so it makes a difference. It looks large enough. And now when I come back, I've got to accept it. Now when I come back to my file properties, I had 1.29 pounds, and now I have 1.23. And so it automatically evaluates that. So again, one more time, I'll save it. Next thing I'm going to do is go into File make a drawing for my part or assembly. I'm going to use a title block that I've made, a personal title block. I'll open that up. 
I'll just bring my part in and notice how notice how my title came in as my description my part number is 73 as well as my material plain carbon steel maybe I need to adjust the size of that if we wanted to adjust our text then we would just go into our edit sheet format double click our material field and let's change this to 3 30 seconds from 1 8 and that seems to fit we'll go back to our sheet format fit save and that is one way that we can use file properties thank you for watching